And hello, my brave knights, princesses, and princesses, and welcome to, as it says, Atlas 2. Not 1, 2. We played the Atlas 2 demo back, uh, I think it was like last year, maybe? No? Yes? Maybe? Um, we also played Atlas 1. If you haven't seen me play either of those, you should. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, I'm gonna warn you before I start, all of you. If you do not like violence, if you do not like disturbing images, if you don't like, um, things that'll trigger you, and if you are somebody who's easily sickened by flashing lights, leave now. Other than that, oh, and... If you're usually squeamish, leave now. Other than that, the rest of you brave people that are going to be watching this, stay. And enjoy. Because I'm going to be the one suffering. You just are going to be watching. So when I'm playing a new game, I played a little bit of this, just a little bit, so I knew everything was good and okay. Um, we're just going to get started. Our last one took place in an asylum and we play as Miles Upshur. And now we are playing. Oh yeah. This is what Atlas 2 contains, and Atlas 1 contained the same thing, so if you have anything against any of this, leave now. We, so we, so Lynn Lingerman is an investigative journalist seeking and the answers behind a pregnant woman murdered under impossible circumstances in rural Arizona. You are Blake Langerman, her husband, assistant, and cameraman. Record everything. Neither of you are fighters. To navigate the horrors waiting for you in the desert, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Or, he doesn't say it, but you could join them. We don't know that, but it's a thing you could do. Let's go. Please, Blake. Right here. I'm scared. I am too. He's coming. He's here! Get away! Jesus, Blake, are you really sleeping? I'm awake. You should have slept last night. Well, I had to get that hospital footage organized. You were calling out some other woman's name. What? In your sleep. Jessica, I think. You know a Jessica? Oh, uh, no, no. I mean, I was dreaming about Jessica Gray from when we were kids. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't thought about her in ages. Hey, we're crossing into reservation land now. You said I'm looking for some sort of factory? Yeah. We can look, but there's nothing out here. It does look pretty empty. All the mercury in that woman's blood, she had to have spent at least a decade downstream from some pretty heavy industry. You say so, man. You bought the time. We should record an intro while we're up here. Production value? Sure. Can't work my diaphragm with this thing on. Audio's gonna be crap. We'll have to- Whoa! What the fuck? Fuck! Sorry about that. My panel's a little soft, but uh, well, we're good! Huh, that was exciting. First red flag. Get as much of the landscape behind me as you can. You got me? Yeah, we're good. Hum, hum. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Have a soup pie. Have a soup pie. Okay. I'm Lynn Langerman, here for Newstomorrow.net. We're flying past the Have a Soup Pie Indian Reservation in central Arizona in search of the origins of murder victims. Hey, Lynn, uh, I don't think you should say murdered. We don't know that. Oh, I'll say she strangled herself to death. That's what the police report says. We may play this before the doctor interviews. If this falls on the first 30, we need to get the word murder in there. We should probably mention the fetus, too. I mean, how it just... Here, let me try a version that can serve as an intro for the whole piece. Tell me when we're good. Okay. We're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from the nearest... Oh! We lost the engine! Fuck! Fuck! Oh! 
this has already turned out to be a very bad idea. Hello? So this is Jessica's locker. This can't be good. It's six, six oh seven. Also, I'm sorry I haven't been on, I haven't been on the bandwagon sooner. I'm pretty sure you've seen all your other favorite LPs playing this, and so you're probably like you're a little late to the party, Phil. And I I would agree. I kind of am. Oh hi. Man, our hands are so burned. Fuck. Come down, man. Lynn? Lynn? Oh, that's handy. Oh, we have bandages. That's cool. That's handy. So just like an Outlast 1, we have parkour skills. She wasn't there. Lynn's body wasn't in the wreckage. She could still be alive. That's true. Oh shit. Jesus. Is No, there's no bodies. She's not in here. You just said Lynn! that. Lynn. Lynn. Behind my head, you can't see it, but behind my head's the battery. So. Oh, oh, oh fuck me! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. oh, that's pleasant. That did not happen in the crash. Fuck this. Lynn. His name. What the fuck kind of people would skin somebody alive? Jesus Christ, Lynn. Question is, what have we gotten ourselves into? 
That's what I'd like to know. Oh yeah, I always wanted to know what was behind me. I don't know what era we're in, but apparently batteries are still needed. What happened to getting a solar powered camera? I don't even think there are such things. And plus, this is it's nighttime. Oh, thank God! I thought we were miles from anything. Yeah, that's not a good sign. There's not supposed to be anything for miles. But I wasn't alone out here. Fuck! I wasn't alone out here. church. That's a great sign. Yeah, it did. Let's pick this up. Um... Dear Ellie, I can't bear what we done, nor being apart from our little ones, so I'm going over and hoping you... Forgive me for leaving you behind. I know that they had to be offered up, but I'm not. I'm all torn up inside and can't live no more. Hopefully, the end will come soon. We can be together again. So then, I hope you find what woman's comfort you need in the arms of Papa Koth Noth. Oh, oh, this is great. I'm sorry. I'll be leaving. Liar father alive. Liar father alive. Who's Liar Father alive? Me thinks we're in trouble. And I know more certain than ever that the enemy is near with every day. I was scrubbing the stains from the floor of Daniel's room. Then the blessed music rose inside me and sunk me into true sight when I saw a creature like the burning sun, but with and with rings of teeth upon teeth and clank dangling beneath limbs I took to be arms. And this monstrous sun descended, destroyed the earth, and birthed some great and subject horror from the fire. It was filled with the same fear, so great that I could not break, breathe, nor 
move and I saw myself all those years back behind Daniel with the, the lie and f tried to weep but could not and when I awoke I found myself painfully desirous to feel feeling was not so for different fo from the fear I tried to comfort myself with her teachings terror is as joy in a moment of him but I would take greater comfort in your Okay, that's just... That's just creepy. Also, I need to do something really quickly before I go crazy. Um... How do I... How do I allow, um... There's a way you can blacken, um... Wait, maybe we can just look at it and see. Find Lin. Nothing matters but Lin. That's what I need right there. So, every time I find a piece of paper, I'm still strangling myself to read. I should just do this. Okay, that's all I need to do. Alright, let's go. You can hide by crawling under beds. That's handy. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to be having to needing to do that sometime <laughs> that always gets me it's the little jump scares that'll get you Some doors have deadbolts on them. Uh, we're in the middle of a cult. That's just great. We'll read that in a moment. Yeah, that's just pleasant. God. Like I said, if you're easily triggered by this stuff, you sh if you haven't left now, you should. Also, we are actually in a tutorial level because when once we came out, there was a well. Oh no. By the crooked knife, Legion fettered every man chained. That's not good. If any man has an ear, he's a bleed of thin Oh. Oh, door. Oh, no. Time to go.
Oh. Need my glasses. God wants me dead? Okay. Aren't you a pleasant little lady? It used to count how many batteries we have, but I guess it doesn't anymore. Nothing matters but Lynn. So we have... This is chapter 8. Some of this I probably won't read because it's a little... strange to me. Yeah. As much as I'd love to read some of this stuff. Sort of hillbilly Vatican. How could all of this have been God God. It's not possible. Oh, it's possible. I said I'll read to this stuff, just not yet. Oh, 
Sorry, dude, my name's not Val. Sorry to break it to you. having a kid, and the uh, guy doesn't seem to like the sound of that. She didn't tell us. I can hide by entering a wardrobe. Alright. Let's read some stuff. Let's see. As you got Papa Gnall's ear, I'm asking that you tell him a worrisome story that I hope is only my fears and nothing factual. The chief among his deacons, Val, came to me before sunrise that morning with an offer that was not fully described. Val acted like somebody offering something secret. But by my knowledge of Val and his character frightened me terribly. I would not accept any such invitation. Val would not suffer explaining and told me that there are places in our hearts Papa Noth cannot reach. Though truth be told, Val seemed more interested in me. I asked Val to return this evening once I had a chance to think it over, but it is only so that North may send some men of firm character to secretly witness what I sp suspect is blasphemy and betrayal and cut it off before any harm is done. I hope Papa can help as I am dreadful scared. This is terrific. And what up? Lynn, where are we going? Away from here. Anywhere but here. Oh, she's holding my hand. Let me guess. Unlike most people who are confused about this part, I am pretty sure I know what's going on. 
I'm Actually, sorry. I just yeah. I need. Oh God. I would feel Christ, that people. Lynn. What's happening here? I thought you were dead. When you fell, I thought we were all dead. It's okay. I'm here. We're gonna get out of here, okay? God. What did they do to you? I, I can't talk about it. I have no grave Please don't ask me. This evening, after all these They're years, coming. After all They're coming. Our faith has been proven. Oh, boy. The woman who came to Temple Gate this day from the outside world brought with her the foul birth that we've been awaiting all this time. Oh, boy. She has a child. What? I perform the examination I don't know. myself. And it's it insane. Is They're all fucking true. insane. The devil Please, Blake, I just want to get out of here. And she is a pregnant. What the fuck is going on? I can't. The way we should look at us when you asked that question. Let's just get away from this place. Kill them. Please. Okay. Soak the okay. earth with their blood! Rip the devil from her belly and crush it beneath your boat hail. Oh, great. Stay back! Oh boy. Oh no, you won't. I swear to fucking Christ, the first person who touches me loses their eyes. God, no! God, no! God wants the child. God wants the child. Get off me! Get off me! God wants the child. Lynn! No, you... No! No! You motherfuckers! Get off me! You leave her alone! This might not be pleasant. Probably it's not going to be pleasant. Not pleasant at all. God doesn't love you. Not like I do. Yes, my love. Oh. We have mother. I think I'll see you again. Oh. I will see you again. But it won't be in enough. That kind of way, I will be br- Ow. I will be bringing guns. Oh shit! Lynn! Why can't we take a flashlight with us? Jesus! Jesus, God! Fuck were they? they? Called them heretics. They called Lynn mother. Yeah, it sounds it's a lot. Just the cult. It's, it's two sides: Christians and something else. I wouldn't call that Bex there. That. No, he sounds more like the guy from Final Fantasy who talks about um, Denova as mother. But anyway, when we come back, guys, more of this game. Until then, leave a like and subscribe because there's always room for more. See you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.